I've gone a new ways and experimented with a new distance and um, it was also time for me to change my, my training surroundings. Girona is probably amongst the cycling community world famous for really good riding. Personally I believe the running is, is just as good if not better. The run mileage probably hasn't increased all that much since my short course days. If it, It's probably gotten less because I used to do 130 k's a week and now I do maybe 110. The thing is that I've cut out the garbage yardage as we like to call it. Every run is at a certain pace and if it's just going to be a little trot, I'll rather stay on the couch or go stretch. I've got three really hard sessions on the bike a week. One of them would be on the hills, climbing, sometimes short, sometimes you know, real strength endurance up to say 30 minute intervals. But then obviously also the very long time trial efforts, 45 minutes to an hour, which are essentially what prepares you for an Ironman. I hope the mountains and the really tricky and winding roads offer a great technical aspect that I can go and explore on my road bike. People out of their own choice leave two meters to you every single time which is great when you've got your head down you're trying to put out power it's absolutely fantastic to have that bit of space and to know you've got it. The biggest thing I've changed since uh, leaving ITU has been training to power. My coach is a bit of a scientist, he loves his numbers, he reads his numbers. I upload the power files after every session. I've always been the feel kind of guy, so it's good to have a scientist behind me who can actually tell me, you know, this is what you're feeling, but you're only doing this, or vice versa, you know. So it's been good to, to sort of get a bit closer to the, to the fine line and tread on it. Coming from a national team environment, I've really enjoyed coming to do a lot of sessions on my own simply because I know they're catered exactly for me. I'm not doing anyone else's training, I'm doing what's exactly right for me at the time. Uh, having a training partner in swimming is just invaluable, I mean, you just can't put a price tag on it. It's, it's really good when you're trying to swim five or six kilometers to have somebody at your side and to also know, you know, that pushing through it, shared pain is half the pain. Open water is good for many things. Um, for me mainly it's, it's the change from the pool. If you're spending six swim sets a week and they're all in the pool up and down the same length, it gets a bit tedious. You know, fortunate to have a great lake and a great scenic setting, it just it mentally makes a difference. But also that continuous training where you're not getting a break every 50 meters, I find that to have a huge benefit. My big problem in the last few years has been getting injured and I think that was the big unknown coming into this project, you know, Ironman, are you going to be able to even last the distance? Having found a physio and Pilates instructor and having a physio with me on tour who just keeps my body in one piece has been, has been the best investment I've ever made. Diet has been something that I've scrapped from my regimen altogether, you know, a lot happier also. <laughs> For the race specific nutrition, I think I've worked out a good plan. It's uh, obviously so complex in Ironman that you'll only be able, or I will only be able to know on race day whether I've really got a dial. I definitely don't fear anything. Um, I think I'm, I'm well prepared. I know there's going to be a lot of suffering. Even if you have a great day, that last hour is, honestly, it's just not going to be pretty. I have great respect for it, but also I know I've trained well. I want to qualify for Hawaii, that's my big goal. I've got a lot of points on the board already, so I really just need to finish it decently. And um, that's the main focus that I've got in my mind. I want to go there, collect experience, and afterwards I'll be able to tell you what I'm going to do from there. My motivation is to win because to me, the feeling is just worth all the suffering. Every single day, it's that finish line in Kona, running down to be part of, I guess, a circle of legends of our sport. Um, that's something I strived for, that's something I'm working very, very hard on every single day and thinking about every moment, you know, whether I'm motivated or not motivated. It's just, it's something that really pushes me to go to my limits, sometimes beyond my limits. And, um, you know, that's the, the big magic to find exactly where that is. It's every day. And that's very much what triathlon is about. It's consistency, working in small steps towards a big goal.
I guess there's baby steps to every victory and everybody has their small goals and that's the unique thing about triathlon is that the professional athlete is so connected to the amateur athlete. The goal of an amateur athlete may be very closely connected to what I do, what to what my fellow professional athletes do. It's just to get the most out of yourself, to go push yourself as hard as you can for as long as you can, whether it's an eight hour day whether it's a 12 hour day or maybe it's only a three hour day in an Olympic distance race. You know, it's really individual, but I think it's something that everybody who does the sport can relate to, and that's what's unique about it. Especially in the Ironman distance, Cycling is a huge part, it's the biggest part of the race in terms of time and aerodynamics are a huge thing that comes into it and that almost gives you the chance to be your own Formula 1 team because there are so many little tweaks and so many little possibilities that you can make that actually make a difference that not only in a science lab could make you faster but if you're out on the road do make you faster and yeah brings out the little kid in me where I love going to the wind tunnel and and testing and getting ideas and it's really yeah the technical perspective that brings a smile to my face I do the sport because I love it I love training hard every day I love pushing myself Champion from Germany, Jan Frodino! Winning Kona was something really that was deeply satisfying for me. It was a goal that I set, it was something I worked really hard for. And after some not so good years, after the Olympics, it was great to be back and be on top of the world. There's a certain magic to records and the sound of a world record is something very, very special again. Um, whereas I have to say, I'm very much focused on the race, on the process of getting there, on the accolade of being the best. There's a great group around me, you know, first and foremost, my wife, my family who support me all the time, who make it essentially as easy as it can be. I've got a great training group, a great training partner with Nick, who's always, you know, alongside me training and pushing me. And, and essentially, that's what I think you need in life. You need a challenge. And I am challenged every single day. I want to go to bed better than when I woke up. For me, the detail, the intricacies, the aerodynamics, the finesse of the sport, if you want, especially in the cycling, of course, because it's the most technical discipline, gets me fired up. You can experiment a thousand things and you go one direction, then all of a sudden you try something completely the other direction and it can be even faster and it's um, this trial and error essentially is what it is. It's great to have the support of a good team around who have you know excellent ideas but who also understand that this translates into free speed.
a world record is something to get a lot of people involved and that in turn gets me motivated the more people are watching the better i i seem to fire and the more it gets me going past my limits <laughs>